Here I have a food grinder by Favor Kit that is designed for a KitchenAid stain mixer and uh, it looks like this in an itemized picture but this is a sampled uh, picture and it attaches here to the stained uh, KitchenAid mixer it is uh, stainless steel it's a multi-function design for KitchenAid all household models it's just uh, some of the options that we can do ground meat, fruits, vegetables breadcrumbs and more we can make uh, meatballs hamburgers sausages and of course here are instructions for how to use it and uh, some uh, hints about frozen or cold meat not moist which we can uh, read about later but let's see what's inside of the box okay this is top cover it's a little heavy which is good and this is one more thing that has uh, this trace This is how it came in a box in two levels of package and uh, there are some items that they are already assembled so I'm going to take it all apart and uh, see every item separately. While I took all parts uh, uh, separate from the packages here I like to show that uh, there is more part already assembled which is important to know. Here is I believe called plate and a blade with the grinder itself so I'll just separate them and put them one by one we have instructions uh, in the package and instead of reading it separately I'll just say what we have here this is a food tray uh, main body this is food pusher with the three different uh, tubes to make sausage and then we have plates, three of them, two knives, lock and ring to assemble it, and so called uh, grinding worm. And this plastic here is for sausage. Uh, when we make sausages, they call it sausage pusher. And of course, brush to clean it when necessary. To assemble it, we need to take main body and put the grinding worm in because by itself I mean, it fits in and then we need to choose our knife knife needs to have sharp blade outside like this not opposite way before plate and then we have choice of our plates depends on what kind of meat we have but uh, now we'll just demonstrate how to assemble it and there is uh, slots that this all goes in I don't think so, there is a right or wrong way as long as we are putting that in and then we put a locking ring on it and we can put it onto mixer this is uh, when we want to grind meat but here is one more way to assemble this uh, with taking this plate off and the knife and then we need to put that sausage um, stuffing and then we can choose one of these tubes put it over actually like that and then lock it with the ring 
and we will be able to make sausages once we grind meat for it. Okay, here we have a mixer that we need to attach it to. And uh, I have here security knob or attachment knob that was provided with the uh, kit that we just purchased. But here is it already available on uh, mixer itself. So we just need to lift this up and attach this uh, grounder to it. So before we attach it, we need to take this screw all the way out and then push grinder in. And here is a little knob that we need to align it so it will not rotate. Once we have that, we can secure this knob and it's ready. So the plate goes on the top and that will be all that's needed uh, before we put food on. Just to demonstrate it, when we turn it on, we'll see that it's rotating. And it does, so it works, it's ready to have food on. Before we start grinding food, we'll wash thoroughly all pieces. And uh, one more time just to show pusher, different blades, different plates, and the tools for sausages. For demonstration purposes, we have a small amount of meat that uh, is pre-cut in a long, smaller long pieces as uh, recommended. And we put it in the freezer for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And uh, we'll see how it cuts. So we'll put a couple of pieces in and see how it goes. We'll add a little bit more and looks good. Useful tool, push me down. food meat too. This is a very helpful tool. We finished grinding. There is a little bit left on the end. But all in all, this is good. I like it how it is ground and um, I like it. I hope this video helps somebody to make a decision about this uh, food grinder. Thank you for watching.